I often say that it's an oxymoron that Connecticut is called the constitutional state because so far uh, justice has not been swift for Dr. Pettit and his family and all of us who love Jennifer and the girls. Um, soon after Jennifer was taken from us, my husband and I started a grassroots effort to improve the three strikes law in the state of Connecticut because we had one on the books, but it really was never exercised. And it was a very long and arduous process. And finally, they did, you know, double sentences and now consider home evasion a felony, which if you can imagine, it was not a felony at the time. But they have really pulled everything they can to draw this out on Dr. Pettit. And when you're talking about 17 different counts of felony murder and today in the courtroom Nancy uh, the prosecution attorneys uh, or excuse me the defense attorneys main focus was the fact that he did not feel the Pettit family should be wearing uh, their Pettit Family Foundation pins which they wear everywhere it's a wonderful charitable foundation that Dr. Pettit started in memory of his wife and children and uh, they felt that this would sway the jury in the courtroom and to think that someone is focusing on this minutia when you have you know these multiple counts of, of as, as you said are arguably one of the most horrendous crimes I think in history of our state I don't know when it became so upside down in our country that victims' rights are lost because for the last four years, all we've heard about are the rights of the perpetrators of this um, crime, which is very, very disconcerting because, as you said, Cheshire is just a tiny town. We, we hear, you know, talk about it like our own little Mayberry. We never locked our doors. We you know, took care of each other's neighbors. You know, the, the night uh, that this happened, our garage doors were up because we were feeding a st stray cat. And that's all changed for everyone oh. now, forever. Um, oh. People in the neighborhood still live, leave their lights on 24 hours a day.